I've got a new 3D printer to reveal, the Creality Ender 5 Plus. No groans, it's not like the Ender 3 Pro, there are actually some significant design changes that set it apart from the regular Ender 5. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the whole Plus Pro Max naming thing either. Fortunately, you don't buy Chinese 3D printers for their awesome English, like Afraid of Wet? The new uh, reality slogan is a bit better, create reality, achieve dreams. But apparently, we're not just afraid of wet, we are also afraid of commas or at least an M dash. We can have a whole long discussion another time about why Chinese companies are so unwilling to invest in proofreading. But today, we'll focus on hardware, which unlike English, we are pretty good at. Now, this is the end of 5 Plus. What about the Ender 5? Well, I never revealed it. Other reviewers like Teaching Tech, Chap, and Cursey Fabrications just came out with the most incredibly comprehensive videos. I've linked them down in the description box. Honestly, I didn't have anything to add and I didn't want to cover the same ground. I like to offer you something different. So I set it aside for a few weeks. Then I heard from a really interesting young man on Facebook. Samuel Kuma Pesa from Uganda. Samuel and his friends are drone enthusiasts, and with a 3D printer, they could print many drone parts. This is a very common use for 3D printers. Of course, Sam does not need charity. He's a hardworking, very well educated young man, so after speaking with his teachers and making sure he has a good character, I make the deal with him. I'd send him my Ender 5 if he shot some video of him and his friends setting it up and using it. I think this would be a fantastic real world test. It's what 3D printing should be. My sponsors at Creality were very enthusiastic and took care of the shipping. We Chinese are practical and always looking for new markets. Uganda has very high import duties on many items. Local salaries are modest, so spending all day in CAD to copy and repair a broken part or design an original one is not much of an issue. In many ways, it's a perfect environment for 3D printing as a practical small-scale manufacturing solution. It makes perfect sense to send one there, see if some smart young people can make a small business with it. In addition, Eason very generously offered to ship Sam's Drone Club several rolls of 3D printer filament to get started with. Eason makes a very high quality filament I use anyway, so I'm happy to use their products on my channel as a thank you. Both the filament and the 3D printers are on their way. I'll keep you updated and hopefully have some news and video for you soon from Uganda. Anyway, back to the end of 5 Plus. Let's unbox it, assemble it, level it, and see what we've got.
to auto level the bed and then try some test print. Wait, what happened? Well, I got the Ender 5 Plus put together, tried to print, and the firmware was no good. It just kept giving Edwards the head crash into the bed a couple of times. It was bad. I was so busy the rest of the day howling at Creality on the phone that I didn't have time to rack up the video. And the next day, the movers came. So this got shelled for a month while I set up my new place. During that time, Creality fixed all the bugs. And the very patient engineers came over a few days ago to make sure everything went okay and I wasn't going to go on a killing spree. It's my reputation on the line also, after all, sponsor or not, I can sign off on a lemon. My reputation is the most valuable thing I have. Fortunately, the new firmware worked like a charm, so nobody count. Thanks to Creality for putting up with me, I'm just doing my job, but I know it's weird to financially support someone who keeps threatening to bicycle over to your factory and take a hammer to your production line if you don't patch bugs. I really appreciate their patience and understanding. So let me show you what I've got. Standard Benchy. Looking decent, I wouldn't say exceptional, but good quality for an Untune printer profile. Given the configuration of the hardware, I am comfortable I can improve on that. It's not as good out of the box as some other more mature printers in the Creality lineup, but that's to be expected with brand new printer that the community hasn't worked on. The original Ender 5 is a favorite of modders. People who like a platform to be on and to modify a printer specifically for their needs. As uh, an Ender 3 is a great printer for beginners, prints well out of the box and modest upgrades will make it print a bit better. The Ender 5 and Ender 5 Plus print well out of the box, but you can get a really dramatic improvement with just a little bit of time invested much more than you'll see working on an Ender 3 in my opinion. The best quality prints from Creality printers that I've seen come out of tuned Ender 5 series printers. Aside from the Benchy, let me show you what I've printed a dozen of. So awesome! It's a type of Chinese sword, a Jian, also known as the Scholar Sword. One of the most talented designers in the 3D printing community, John of 3D Printing World designed it at my request. He has a whole variety of swords, but they are all European or Japanese, and I thought it would be fun for Chinese kids to have one of our swords from our history. John was so kind and made one, and every kid I've given one to has absolutely loved it. John has one of the most impressive portfolios in the community, including a 3D printer that is almost entirely 3D printed. If you are interested in 3D printing and really want to see some great designs and ideas, you should go check out his channel. There is a link in the description box. And thanks John, you've made a lot of little kids really, really happy. I'll put a link to the STL in the description box. If you use it, please remember to give 3D Printing World attribution. It's a very small price to pay for such an awesome print. Also, Samuel and his Joan and 3D Printing Club in Uganda got their Ender 5 from Creality and their filament from Eason. Thanks so much for those donations. Hey, I'm Moses. And today we are having an N5 3D printer. And let's like say big thanks to Naomi Wu and Creality that made this possible for us. Okay, what's our next step? Our install the Z-axis. Yeah, right. So we're going to install the Z-axis right here. Okay. As you can see, I've got to find a way to get them a better camera and a tripod. But their enthusiasm is fantastic. They've been printing all week and I can't wait to see 
what sort of designs they come up with. Please go follow their channel. Yes, it's a little rough, but they're doing great considering what they have to work with. A little encouragement goes a long way and I'm going to twist the arms of some Chinese companies here and see if we can get them the Shenzhen tech they need to follow those dreams. After talking to Samuel about some of the challenges in Uganda, I think it's an absolutely perfect environment to test new tech and see how it holds up under less than optimal conditions. I'm hoping I can convince some local companies to see it the same way. Xiaomi, DJI. In closing, the end of 5 Plus, the hardware is excellent and the prints acceptable as is out of the box. The auto leveling function works, but it's a bit counterintuitive as implemented. As with all printers, I would expect additional firmware revisions and profile twists to dramatically improve print quality. Last, this is a modest printer. As is, it's a solid value. With a modest investment of your time, you can get the performance of a printer twice the cost from it. Will I suggest it as a first printer? Maybe, but be prepared for a learning curve. My topic for a beginner's printer is still the Ender 3. If you know for sure the Ender 3's print volume too small, yes, get an Ender 5 Plus. That's it for today. Please remember to go check out John and Samus links in the description box. I'm going to get to work on fine-tuning these printer profiles. So until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.